Uh, good morning and welcome to today's webinar. I hope everyone's doing well this morning. Uh, what we have today um, is a webinar with Leverage Technologies uh, and we're partnering with uh, EasyClick today to discuss cash flow management, which is, I guess, a topic that has universal appeal across many businesses, um, regardless of scale and industry, uh, especially with what's going on at the moment uh, with COVID-19, you know, a once in a hundred year pandemic going on. And, uh, you know, if you're anything like leverage, uh, we, we weren't sure how, um, you know, certain things were going to, um, you know, how things were going to impact us, especially cash flow. So what we have today is um, EasyClick uh, with us to go through their insights regarding cash flow management using their domain knowledge and ex um, experience in this area um, to help you navigate, I guess, these interesting times. They'll discuss both um, technique and technology um, around just receive, um, getting desirable outcomes regarding cash flow. So what I'm gonna do now is um, introduce AJ and Amanda from EasyClick to take you through um, cash flow management and how to boost um, it using automation and, and their insights. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Um, just one last thing. Um, there is a, um, in the Zoom session, there's a, a Q and A panel. If you do have any questions uh, throughout the webinar, I, please um, use that and uh, we'll try and answer those questions during the webinar or we might come back uh, to you after the webinar to answer those. So what I'm gonna do is just hand it over to AJ and Amanda. Fantastic, thank you, James, and welcome everyone. So look, um, I think James, I'll let you uh, moderate the session for any questions. Um, I think there's a couple of questions, a, a, a couple of that have just come up as well right now. Um, but in terms of the webinar, please feel free to chat questions uh, using that chat box. And if you have any issues with the audio, just uh, let us know. Uh, but look, um, in the next half an hour, we want to take you through some really practical tips, as James mentioned, both technique and uh, technology, to show you how you can actually do that. And we know everyone's really busy, everyone's time is very, very valuable, so we want to get into it. And at the end, we want you to walk away with something really um, useful in your business. So before I introduce myself, ladies first, Amanda, did you want to perhaps give a quick introduction uh, about you? Sure, welcome everybody. I'm really happy to be here with you today. It's a, it's a privilege. Um, so I actually have my own business, but I've aligned myself with Easy Collect and I've been a receivables management advisor for over 15 years. So I've worked with businesses who have turnovers from half a million dollars to hundreds of millions of dollars. So I want to um, have you feel safe in the fact that the information and real golden nuggets and tips that I'm going to share with you today about communication and collection is real world tools that I use in businesses all the time to create um, incredible results with receivables. Um, so we're, I'm really excited to, to deliver this with AJ to make a difference to you immediately in your business. Yep, and um, thank you for that. Amanda, she's being very um, uh, humble here. She's uh, helped, uh, she's worked with, with, with EasyClick for a number of years, helping a bunch of our customers with really connecting to that human side when it comes to managing cash flow and building some really strong relationships uh, when it comes to those conversations. And we'll talk a bit about the value of that when you're talking about boosting cash flow. Uh, my name's AJ. In the photo that you see here, I have a lot more hair than I do today. And it's primarily because of the stress I've had um, in uh, managing cash flow. So before starting Easy Collect, I ran a wholesale manufacturing business and I very much um, struggled with cash, um, primarily because I would uh, be selling on credit and terms were typically 30 days from end of month. Uh, suppliers had to be paid up front, salaries had to be paid up front. So there was this cash imbalance and, you know, we struggled with it. And it's probably why 90% of businesses fail is because of poor cash flow. We're trying to manage that, uh, that uh, imbalance and probably why 47% of businesses need finance, which is what we had to do as well to bridge that gap. So, you know, luckily at the end of three or four years of that business, we, um, we sold that business um, and had some time to reflect on the problem that we had. And, you know, it's kind of how EasyClick started. It was, it, was, it was started with real world in the trenches experience and partnering with some really smart people, smarter than me, to build a product that could actually help solve that problem in a really humanistic manner. Because EasyClick, we know, is all about um, uh, 
trying to help people with cash flow, but we know, especially business to business, and um, Amanda, you probably know this more than anyone else, it's business to business is about getting paid on time. It's about also maintaining relationships for that repeat order. You want to keep doing business with these customers. So you want to be able to get paid while still keeping that gold relationship gold. Absolutely. Retaining the customer is my number one goal. So it's one thing to get your customer paying you on time, but it's also another thing to manage that communication very strategically. So ongoing sales and repeat business remains your number one priority. The, the truth of the matter is companies spend a lot of money um, trying to find new sales all the time. But when you manage your receivables properly and you start building these really powerful, connected, communicative relationships with your customers, you actually start increasing your sales to your existing database. And in times like now with COVID, those kind of um, tips are just vital. If you increase your bottom line by anything from one to 5%, that can be the world of difference to a business. Yeah, no, true. So you, you talk about, um, about, we are here to talk to you about, you know, how we can help you absolutely guarantee improved cash flow. And it's, it's a big word to say guarantee, but what we've done over the last five years of having easy collection management for, you know, 20, 15 years at least, I would imagine, Amanda, um, you've been um, working on, with businesses, we've been working with businesses, and we've come up with this three-step process that we will guarantee that we can reduce, you know, um, your overdues by 70%. Now, to be honest, when I was talking to Amanda, we said, we're, we're, we're doing the numbers, we're saying, what are the results we've had in our customers? And it's, it's more like 90%, right? And Amanda goes, no one's going to believe 90%. So we put 70%. And um, this is something which we stand by. You, with, if you follow these simple three steps, you will have this result of 70% reduction in overdue accounts. So we'll, um, we'll talk to you about it. And we'll explain to you why this is a very realistic number and why it's based on a lot of science and process. Um, you know, the other things that we can help you with this process is, not, is obviously, and the, 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 the top one is to reduce your like um, overdue debtors. But for me personally, it's about stress. I do not want to be in a business that I'm stressed out every day if I'm going to make payroll, if I'm going to pay, pay my suppliers. So for me, um, this process talks very personally about how we can actually help you run a better business. I mean, Amanda, you, um, you, you, you talk about eliminating bad debts here as well as one of the points. Can you maybe elaborate a bit more on that, what you mean by eliminate bad debts and collection costs? Sure, because those are two things that cause a lot more uh, stress in a business when receivables aren't managed well. So eliminating bad debts and collection costs doesn't mean you're never going to have a bad debt or you're never going to have collection costs. But by implementing the methodology that AJ and I promote, you're proactive rather than reactive to the financials of your receivables. So you, because you're proactive, you're starting to um, d discuss debts with customers and, and have this connected relationship really early in the game. I'm talking three to five days after the invoice comes due. So what happens is you don't end up with these terrible bad debts that you need to do something about. And the reason they usually get to that point is because you haven't managed it well or there's been you know, a very close relationship with the customer and you, you haven't known how to manage that relationship or that conversation about the debt. So what happens is your, your final result is, you know, to do something about it, you have to send it to a debt collector. Now, debt collection definitely has its place but it's not a resolution if you want to retain your customer. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, some of you might be saying, okay, 70%, so what? What does that actually mean to me as a, as a business? If I can take a second, if I've, I'm showing you an actual cash conversion calculator that we, um, that, that we, we actually borrowed off a accounting um, company. So they, they use this, Quantum Advisory, they actually use this when they're talking to their clients about cash flow because there's many levers to improving cash flow you got your suppliers you know your cost of goods your you know inventory and debtors All right so if you take this this example business very very simply i'll just show it to you let's take a second this is your current uh, situation so for a, a typical business let's take a period so in one quarter so 90 days let's say the revenue is two million dollars so that's the $8 million business because $2 million in a quarter times four is an $8 million business. So a fairly typical business, a fairly good business um, with you know, $8 million in like revenue. And these numbers here are the averages. So for example, we'll focus on debtors as that lever today. Um, this business is being paid 73 days um, 
on average from the invoice date. So that means they have a balance on a $2 million turnover, a balance of about 1.6 million in debtor days. Now, even if we can reduce 73 by say even 10 days, so that's a lot less than the 70% that we mentioned, but just say you reduce it by 10 days, right? Which is something which is, um, you know, in a quarter is very, very achievable. On the right hand side is the projected capital, right? So here there's a zero net gain. Now if I reduce that to 63, which is the 10 days, bang, 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 right? It's easy on a spreadsheet. <laughs> um, what you see here is the actual impact in one quarter is almost $220,000 in cash flow. So this is working capital. There's a lot of other savings that you go on top of this in terms of, of efficiencies and reduce bad debts and expenses, but this is just working capital, more cash in your bank today. So, you know, in, in the next um, 20 minutes that we have left, if I can show you how to get almost $200,000 back in one quarter, which is almost $800,000 in a year, um, I think it's a really good use of your time and I see, and this is what we can, we stand by. So these numbers are, and in fact, this is a really good calculator we can send you. So if, if anyone wants this particular calculator, you can use it for other parts of your business for the, you know, inventory, for the payables to see what the impact is. So just in the chat box, just mention that in the, in the chat that you want to copy this um, and we can send this to you. It's all based on some very um, accounting principles. So there's nothing, you know, rocket science about it, but it's a very interesting um, uh, way to look at your business. So let's get into the three-step methodology, right, Amanda? Um, step one sure. if I, of our three steps is about what we call humanizing automation. So what do we mean by this? So when we look at business-to-business -business collections, it's, it's what, what I learned for my business, what Amanda will, will tell you in a minute. It's all about having that consistent, persistent, polite, and personal follow-ups. We know in business to business, the personal thing is really, really important. And when we built Easy Collect, we said, how do we have a system that allows you to be really smart with managing your collections, but keeping that personal connection? Because the people that you already have who are making uh, collection calls, or if you're a CFO, you're managing people, or you're the CEO, at the end of the day, people is the number one asset in your business and you need to make them more efficient and effective. Um, sales teams have CRMs, you know, which they use to manage all their sales calls and finance the, uh, and you have, you have, um, you know, in the accounts department, they kind of working blind. They have an accounting system, which is good to a certain extent, but when it comes to looking at a process that goes deep on collections, it's, it's it, there's nothing there. And so what we do is we extend that functionality in MYB to say, how do we help you automate your collections but keeping in mind the human aspect of those collections, right? So call it the squeaky wheel. We, we want to be the squeaky wheel, but in a way that is very respectful of your relationship. Um, I mean, Amanda, you um, uh, have this thing called the 30, 80, 100 rule. Do you want to maybe talk through that particular rule in context of this um, uh, workflow? Sure. So your general 30%, um, if you use a platform like Easy Collect and you have um, a reasonable amount of, of automation and pre-reminders being sent out, 30% of your receivables will, will automatically pay, pay with a reminder and they're your fairly um, good paying customers and we call them the low hanging fruit. Um, so they only need a reminder or two and they'll always pay and you can guarantee that money's going to come in on time pretty much every month. But to go from 30% to 80% of your customers paying is another 50%, right? So to get that additional 50% paying sooner or even better on time, you actually have to include the human element. Because what happens with that 50% is if you only use automation to continue communicating with them, what happens is the, the likelihood of them paying actually decreases over time. So every automated communication they get that is not combined with some humanness, as I like to call it, it actually starts decreasing your efforts and the possibility of payment. So making sure that once that 50% extra of people that you want, you have to start speaking to them ringing them early, asking them for a payment date, how are they going, do they need to make a payment plan? And look, in a time like this with COVID, what, what we also need to understand is whatever you're struggling with at the moment and going through, just really get present to the fact that so are your customers. So 
you know, reach out to them and ask them what's happening for them. How can you support them? Is there a payment plan that is a win-win for both of you? So you're getting some money come in the door and they've had a big problem taken off their shoulders and you're working together. It's a very powerful way to build your relationship. So COVID is a really good time to start doing this. Yeah, thanks, Amanda. And what you've got is, um Sorry, what what you're seeing on the screen is 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 a part of the Easy Collect uh, one of their what if I squeaky wheels if you can call it that it's a set of steps or like a workflow that you can customize in your business to manage both the automation as well as that human aspect. So from the day you raise the invoice in your MYB system, the system will, will step in and say, okay, do you want to send pre-reminders? Do you want to send follow-up emails, SMSs? And you know, um, when you think about some of these these these, these options that you have, uh, we've got emails, which are, as we've mentioned is very useful and it's good for that first 30%. SMS is quite useful, especially for B2C. Uh, fax, um, you know, we have a fax option. We have people still using fax believe it or not. Um, and of course, you know, um, uh, letters. So you can actually automate sending letters by post. So it'll actually go to, to OzPost and they'll print it, they'll fold it, they'll stamp it, and they'll send that follow-up as a letter. So by giving you that uh, efficiency. And of course, um, the physical call as well. One thing I just want to mention, when you talk about automation, one of the biggest excuses people use for not paying on time is I didn't get a copy of the invoice or, you know, those are things where, uh, you know, shouldn't and never be an excuse ever. So with these templates, you can very much personalize um, what gets sent to a customer. You can add, you can attach overdue statements, you can attach overdue invoices. And when a customer gets the email in, in this example, it would look something like this, where you can actually see um, it grouping all the overdue invoices together. Because if you think about the humanized side of uh, collections, if you're gonna send an email to a customer, you would never send an email per, um, per overdue invoice, right? You would say, hey, this customer, I actually have three overdue invoices and three that are not overdue. Let's put it into one email and send it. That's what a real person would do. So humanizing is not just about making calls, it's also about when you're sending communication to your customers automatically, how, does it, how do you give that impression that's coming from a real person? Um, we'll talk about payments later because it's a pay now button, we'll, we'll come back to that. But um, what I wanted to just highlight here was when someone does pay, um, uh, and so this is one of Amanda's pro tips is, you know, um, the system will, will check that they've paid. It'll know that because we, we talk to, uh, you know, MYB Advance and we know if there's a payment being made. And if it has been made, it'll stop chasing and it can even send a thank you uh, message for payment. Now, it's really powerful when it automates an email, but Amanda, what's even more powerful than an automated thank you? This is your little pro tip, I guess. This is one of my pro tips. So a very small pro tip, but an extremely successful pro tip. So your customers get used to the point of contact in your business that they deal with regarding receivables or their account. And uh, usually the only time that person talks to them is about money and when they owe money. But it is very valuable and I suggest at least once every three months you get through your database of customers. Once every three months I want you to ring your customer just to thank them for a payment. And you do not have the com a conversation about anything else. You don't talk about their overdue account. You don't talk about the payment plan. You just literally ring to say, thank you for adhering to the payment plan or thank you for the payment. It's a, it's a 30 second phone call and you have no idea how it blows people away. They go, what, you're just ringing to thank me. So it is such a simple way to really make that connection with your customers strong and personal. This is what it's all about, right? Yeah. Making your customers feel personal. So that's a really good yeah. pro tip. It'd be good um, if the attendees on the call, if you can just raise your hand, there's a little button to raise your hand. If, if, if you know where it is, if you've ever been, uh, if you've ever uh, either made a call to someone or had a call to you to thank you for a payment. And I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I've seen a couple of hands up. That's, that's good. I'm really glad that I've seen a couple of hands up, but a large majority um, have, have, have not. And that's, and that's the point, you know, just thanking people for paying me, for, for paying you late. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for paying me late. That's a, that's even better. Um, but it helps, right? It's about connecting during these times. Um, so when a call's actually due, by the way, so we talked about email, SMS, when a call's due, these are people who haven't paid. And what the system here does, it actually sends you a daily list. So if you're an AI person on the call today, you will get a list every day, could be 10 people that you have to call that need to hit that step of calling. And you will get that list of calls and then you can action them through the system. And we'll show that to you in a minute, but that is kind of helping you be more efficient um, with some of the daily tasks that you have, right? Um, 
so what I'll go back because I don't want to go too much into the actual product here. We've 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 kind of covered off um, what step one is. Step one is use automation in your business to really connect with your customers. The rule is email will only go to a certain extent. You need to make phone calls, but as opposed to making random phone calls, system can help you allocate who to call, when to call, so you manage your time a bit more effectively, but you focus on the relationships. Thank your customers, build those deeper chats. But let's talk about calling, because that's really the, the next step of this thing is about that personal connection. And um, when we talk about calling, um, there's a concept here called stats to chats, and we'll explain what that means um, through this um, this screen here. So. What we mean by stats to chat, and this is one of Amanda's coin terms, stats to chat. When it calls you, imagine you've got an email at nine in the morning, or it could be earlier, eight in the morning. You get this email in your inbox that says, here are your calls for the day, Mr. Smith, right? So you come into Easy Click and you click on your tasks. Your tasks is a screen, which is a list of the calls that you have to make reflective of the email that you just received. Now, this is a test file, so you got 72 calls, which is a lot of calls for one person to make. So this is not really real data. It could be. Um, and you can see you have a list of the customers that you have to call, what stage they are in the workflow. So some people, you might have a call twice in your in your squeaky wheel workflow. How many days over is the customer? What's the balance? When is the call actually due? And what's the risk level of the call? Now, I'm going to in a minute hand over to you, Amanda, and explain how you use risk level. But let me just quickly explain what is risk level here. So this is between us, your superpowers. The people of this call, risk level will give you AR superpowers. AI meaning accounts receivable superpowers. Because what you often know is you know how your customer is paying you. Because you have that in your in your MYB system, you know they're paying you 10 days late, 20 days late on time. But what you often don't know is what is the risk of this customer on how they're paying other suppliers in the market, like third parties. So what we've done is we've, we've done a partnership with a company called Dun & Bradstreet. So that's a credit reporting bureau. There are a couple of credit reporting bureaus out there. There's three that are the main ones. There's Credit to Watch, there's uh, um, Ilian or Dun & Bradstreet as they're called, and there's Equifax, right? These are the guys that have credit data on all these companies. So we've gone and partnered with uh, Ilian or Dun & Bradstreet. They're called the, it's the same company. And we have said to them, let's bring all the late payment score data. So this is a chance that someone's going to pay you late and the failure risk, the chance that this is actually going to fail into Easy Collect and present it on screen so that when you're making your calls, and I'm going to hand over to you in a minute, Amanda, um, is you have this information on what is the risk of this customer in the external market. So now, Amanda, tell me, you're presented with this, right? You've, you consult companies every day. They get this call list and you see these different risk levels. How do you actually practically use it on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, this is what most people impractically do, especially business owners. When they see a screen like this and they see a number of customers in a row that all have a severe risk level, they go, oh my God, they're going broke. We need to get our money now. And stress levels go through the roof. So that's why I call this uh, stats to chats. And I'll tell you why. One of the most powerful things I teach my clients is just because a customer is a high risk or perhaps not paying other creditors on time does not mean that that has to be the case for you. So, you know, all of my clients have high risk customers who pay them on time all the time or always adhere to their payment arrangements. So it can be irrelevant that they're a high risk to other creditors and not paying them on time because at the end of the day, well, you don't really, you know, you're not worried about that. You're worried about getting paid for your business. So, but what this does is it, it gives you very important data so you know what customers you need to be communicating with on a weekly basis, really staying on top of their account, perhaps reviewing um, credit limits every month or reviewing the account in general every month, having a team chat about it, um, just really staying on top of them as it were. But it can be an opportunity to really support a business through a certain phase. I mean, let's face it, we all have periods of downturn. We all have times when business isn't good. Um, so, you know, we can do our bit to support businesses through those times as well so that they actually do remain in business. At the end of the day, it's in the best interests of all of us to actually help each other in business in these sensible ways. But you know, if you're managing the rest of your ledger properly and well, then you are able to actually carry more of these risk customers as long as they stay paying on time. And I teach customers how to do that every day. So just because they're high risk does not mean you don't need to do business with them. And it doesn't mean they don't have to pay you on time. 
So, um, James, sorry, I'm using your um, name here. Um, so you can see there's a call to be completed. You can go complete your notes. But here, and I think Amanda makes a really good point, as opposed to saying to a customer, you have a high risk and um, we're going to chastise you as a result of it and you know put you on, on stop credit. I understand why. And look, you would obviously tell them that they have a high risk because they don't know that. These are your superpowers, right? Okay. Uh, but you can understand that they might be at risk. And so what you can do is, uh, say, look, this is a payment plan. I understand that times are tough. How can we help you? And when you empathize with them, you know, it really helps you to get to what they're paying to you. you. Treat others how you want to be treated yourself, right? And um, I think it, it, it does make a difference. And so through here, you can manage your, your communication. So I can go in here. I can um, save my, my, my call notes. It'll go to the history, my activity history for that customer. And I can even send an email here. To, to, to James to say, hey, James, as agreed, here is a link to our payment plan. I look forward to these payments on these dates. And all that can be saved in your activity history and all the notes are saved here. And these notes, um, the question that came up, these notes can get written back into your advanced system as well. So in MYB Advanced, you'll have a central um, repository of all notes as well. So it's kind of, um, the notes here are very important and it's very important that these notes be your source of truth when you're talking to customers. But I think the stats to chat is a really important point that we'd like to make um, to uh, everyone on, on the call today, that you can use that as, as a way to, to, to really build those relationships, right? Um, I'll just load my screen again. And we talked about um, this credit data. It's a really valuable piece of data that you have, which is normally very expensive and you can't access it. You have that accessible within Easy Collect to make those decisions. Um, and um, the, the, the pro tip that Amanda briefly mentioned was, you know, get that commitment when you call, right, Amanda? It's getting that um, commitment on those calls too for their payment plan. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, sometimes the, the information I share with businesses, they can assume that it's a little bit woo-woo and a bit soft and, you know, well, we can't be too nice to people. We need our money in the bank. It's not about that. When you build these relationships with customers through powerful connection, you're actually putting yourself in a position of power and giving the customer um, the platform to actually have discussions with you without feeling scorned or judged because they're an overdue account. You know, what I see often in businesses is they view the customer in a certain light when it comes to selling to them. But when it comes to talking to the customer about their overdue account, all of a sudden our mindset or perception of that customer has changed, right? Now we're judging them. Now we've got an issue with them. Now they're a problem or whatever the case may be. So, the pro tip here with my three C's is you want to call your customers, connect with them, but you're also getting a commitment. So to help with this during COVID, I've written um, a template for anyone that wants it that can be downloaded or, or emailed to you. So if you want to initiate the communication with your customers right now and start having these conversations, I've written the perfect um, template for you that you can send to your database um, to actually use that as, as a, a connection um, to, to make a call to them. So that will be available to everyone after the webinar too. Yeah, just um, uh, James can get that across to you or um, we can just uh, put on the chat box if you actually want that. We'll send that to you. It's a free template. It's really well written and gives some really valuable information on what you can do to uh, get that commitment. Now, the first step, because we know we're bit, getting a bit out of time here, uh, this is cause it's a three-step process. One was the methodology around automation with the human touch. Number two is using data when you're making calls. And number three is pay for your customer's holiday. So what do we mean by this? I'm going to show this to you here. Um, I have three, three girls, uh, three kids, and I put them to bed by eight o'clock every night and I then pay bills, right? Now you might think I'm a small business, you know, so I'm, um, you know, most bigger businesses don't pay bills in, in that, in, in that manner. But what we've seen across, um, our data on about $150 million worth of credit card payments over the last three months, 22% of people are paying after 5 PM by credit card and before 9 a.m., right? So if you're not actually available to take credit card payments as a business, number one, you're missing out on cash flow. And number two, if you, if you do take credit card payments, are you there between 5 p.m. and 9 a.m.? And that's why I would recommend to you is to add a pay now button to your MYB emails, to your invoices in MYB, to your reminders. And we've set it up in a way that this pay now button is more than a pay now button. So for example, imagine this is an email that gets sent. It's eight o'clock at night. I click the pay now button. 
I come to a page like this, which is a customer portal. So a customer portal is my portal as your customer. So imagine you're Stark Industries and I'm Casper. Um, this is my portal to see all the invoices in MYB Advanced real time. I can view the line items. I can view the invoice as well here, which is an actual invoice in the right format in MYB. So it'll pull up the correct format from your MYB system uh, with the pay now button, as you can see too. I can um, query the invoice as well. So it's really important, you know, if I haven't paid an invoice because of freight uh, and I've used that as a reason to not pay the whole invoice, let's reduce those barriers. I can see all my previous statements. It's, it's all here in one place, right? My payment history. And I'm going to, in a minute, to hand over to you, Amanda, talk to you about why credit cards are so important. But if I want to make a payment or a part payment, so I want to pay $1,000 of that invoice, I can make a part payment. And the way this payment system works is you can generate your own email receipt. You can put in your own card number here. And you'll notice here, as I put in a card number, it works at an automatic surcharge. Um, and I'll maybe just pause there for a second because a lot of people um, say they don't like accepting credit cards because of the cost of credit cards. So Amanda, in your experience, can you maybe just share why accepting credit cards, even if there's a, even if there's a cost of credit card and how do you get over that cost is so important? Yeah, this is, this is a really vital aspect to business and it doesn't matter how small you are, um, how a lot of people think they might be too small to accept credit cards and, or they prefer cash or whatever the case may be, but it's a very big mistake. So you need to be accepting credit cards in every form, including Amex, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a second, and you need to give people the availability to pay you 24 seven. Now, AJ giving you the stats of how many people pay after hours, um, that is very much so my experience too with clients. And um, if, if you don't have a pay now button for people to pay you after hours, this is what happens. They can't pay you when they want to. So your invoice gets pushed to the side and they pick up the next invoice for the next creditor and they pay that business instead of you. So it is just madness not to have 24 seven payment options for your customers in this day and age. Secondly, the reason you should be accepting Amex is this reason. And I know you, there might be some eye rolling going on out there, but, but this is why. Okay. We're conditioned that MasterCard and Visa are okay. They're, they're cheaper for our business. They don't have the same surcharges, but this is a thing. Most Amex users are a higher demographic, a higher income demographic. Um, and they are happy to pay their surcharges. You know why? Because fewer businesses take Amex. So when Amex users are actually able to use their Amex, they're happy to pay the surcharge. The other side of that too is Visa and MasterCard users are also getting used to having to pay surcharges now because your supermarkets, your larger um, chain stores are now all starting to pass these surcharges on to the customer. So the, the financial environment with credit cards is changing a little bit. Customers are getting a little bit more used to paying surcharges on credit cards. And you know why? You know why they're accepting it now? Because there's so many bonuses for them personally in using their credit cards, right? Like my partner, Frank. He will go to the ends of the earth to find a business to buy a product that he wants that will take his credit card. And why? Because he wants to pay for our overseas trips every year. And the flights must be paid for by his free points on his credit card, right? So that's what people are doing. They want the bonuses. So they're happy to pay the surcharges, right? So you can decide in your business if you absorb that cost or not. But whether you choose to or not, you do have a choice and you need 24-7 payment and you need Amex. Am I passionate enough about that? Yes. So Amanda works for, for Amex, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Um, so the, the point here is you can still absorb Visa MasterCard. So you can set up rules with this payment system that we have here that you can say Visa MasterCard, I'll absorb those fees. Amex, I'll surcharge the full lot. But the really important thing is accept all card types. And with the way this is built, it writes it back into MYB Advanced. So, you know, easy click sits on top of, of uh, MYB Advanced and it's always talking to um, to the system. So you don't have to have MYB Advanced open or anything. It's just, it's always talking through the APIs on the background. and what, and, and any payments that happen here will automatically get allocated to the uh, invoice. So you're saving a lot of time when it comes to reconciliation as well, because the payment gets allocated to the invoice. So when you come in and you get the 
physical money in your bank account the next day or the, within two days, you can then match up those payments in like seconds, right? A lot, lot faster. And you know, the way uh, merchant fees are accounted for are all handled beautifully as well. So you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, short payments on particular invoices. They're all matched correctly. But the point here is not so much to talk about um, easy collect on the payment solution is to talk about the fact that you need to accept payments in your in your uh, system because it helps you to get paid faster helps you to get that that, that improvement that we actually mentioned to you um, uh, in your business so in terms of the actual um, uh, sort of pay for my holiday it's it's something which we're very very passionate about that accept cards and you know easy Collect as a product by the way there's a question that's come up so i'll answer it in this context is it to in, to connect to myb advanced through the apis and to have you up and running and we give everyone training and help you set everything up it literally can be done in under 24 hours if you have some data issues around you know your system maybe give it an extra day or two to get your data issues sorted but literally within let's say 48 hours you can have the system up and running and you'll see this we mentioned about a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar improvement you'll see that happening every day right it's 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 a it's, it's a big big deal so i know we're a bit over time james i'm gonna go a little bit faster i talk fast i'm gonna even talk faster so step one we're gonna we talked about humanizing your collection really important make calls connect to people when you make the calls but use technology to humanize it right so automate the first 30 percent because we know that works call tasks use your data when you're making those calls because those data is going to give you insights that are really really valuable and um, one thing i'm i just would be it wouldn't be right if, if I didn't show you, but also when you're dealing with brand new customers, one thing I just mentioned to you is the onboarding is really, really important. So the onboarding is the way you do trade applications for brand new customers. Um, I don't know, in my last business, it was literally a one page form that had, you know, put in your details, who's the, what's your director's name? How much credit do you want? <laughs> Give me three people who say you're a good credit risk. And that's literally it. And I would fax that to my customers and I'd get it back. It would be perfect. And they'd never have any issues with their credit. And they'd say, we want $10,000. I'd be like, yeah, okay, we'll give you 10,000. And when they had a bad debt, I had nothing to stand on. So one thing I'd say to you, onboarding is really, really important. Having a good processor through the data that we have, you can type in a, a business name. Now, I don't know if this is our test environment. I'm not sure if leverage um, technologies uh, will come up here or not. There you go. I, I don't know if it'll actually show um, the actual uh, team leverage. I'm not sure if that's it. Let's see what your risk is, James, as a business. Okay, yeah, lucky. There's no actual um, results for you because this is a UAT. But typically, it would show something like this. It would show what is the risk of failure? What is the risk of late payment? You can get a comprehensive credit report on that customer so you can make good decisions when you're actually opening up your customer accounts. Um, I just want to show that to you in context of um, the using data to make better decisions, sorry. Um, so we're here, step two, use data to make better decisions. And step three, accept payments online. Pay for that holiday of yours, uh, of your customers, accept credit card payments. You do these three things, we're gonna show you, and you will have these results, right? 70% reduction, you'll increase your cash flow, and you will take away your stress, uh, I believe, uh, and our customers are proof to that testament. All right, so how do you get started? If you, if you do wanna do this, um, Leverage uh, and we, as a team here at Easy Collect, uh, made a decision that up to the end of the financial year, and we started this about a month ago, we know people are having a hard time with cash flow, and not everyone is. Some are doing better than others, but everyone is having more challenges than they used to. So we made the call at Easy Collect, and Amanda did as well, to say, let's give away the whole thing, everything I showed you, the workflows, the payments, the credit data, everything, free for two months, right? But we, we had to limit it to for by each partner, we, we limit it to 20 clients per partner because it can't be, for, can't be unlimited for us, where we give away the whole free for two months. After two months, it becomes payable and we'll go through the pricing before you even start your free two months so you know what the commitment is. And Amanda has also stepped in to say, she's gonna help you after you've been trained in Easy Collect by our team, she'll help you with optimizing that process, uh, making sure that she can give you some, I guess, of her time um, around receivable communication optimization. Maybe Amanda, you want to just add a bit more about what you are specifically offering? 
Yeah, so what, what I want to talk to um, individual businesses about is, you know, th there's not just a one package suits all. The, the automation of Easy Collect is brilliant, but inside of that, there's templates, um, there's communication rules that you need to set up with when you're going to call, when you're going to send an SMS, when, you, when you're going to send an email. And that is that needs to be structured correctly for not only your business and, and customer demographic, but for your industry. So different industries have different ways of working and communicating. Um, so it's really important that you get that right because it helps with the success. The other thing that I will talk to you about is um, I'm happy to give you a, a, a free strategy session on how your receivables are actually looking. And there's one thing I want you to do at the end of this webinar. I want you to print your receivables report, your age receivables, and I want you to get very clear about the dollar value that is trading outside terms. How much is it? And what difference would it make to your business if you had 80% of that figure in your bank account? What difference would it make to your business? And then once you've worked that out, then I want you to decide what would you be willing to spend to get that 80% in your bank? Because most business owners never think about what it's costing them every day to float that money, right? It's costing your business a lot of money to extend that credit. So I just want to run through a few of those things with you as, as a business and, 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 give you some of my tips and tricks to really help you get some money in the door quickly and systemize what you're doing. It oh, clearly I'm passionate about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thank, thanks, Amanda. So look, um, that's, uh, we, we said half an hour, we're a bit over. So thank you for all of you for staying to the end. Uh, hopefully you find it uh, useful. Uh, the types of industries we work with are, you know, if you have, uh, issues with, with cash flow, whether it be whether you have debtors or not, it doesn't matter. It's about do you have, for example, Chart Time doesn't have debtors, right? They're a they're a they're a, they're a retail business, but they have issue with payments between their different franchises, for example. We have wholesale manufacturing service, um, you know, B2B, B2C. So it's really important that um, you know, if you you know have a chat to us, we can see if it's a fit, but the two months is there for you. Look, James, um, that's the end of the presentation. We um, any questions or any feedback or any any comments? Uh, nothing of late. I think we've answered it throughout the, the webinar. So um, everyone on the webinar, if there are any further questions uh, regarding uh, any of the concepts that we covered today around cash flow and obviously the Easy Collect platform, pre please reach out to myself, the team, and uh, we'll get you connected to AJ and Amanda and, and the rest of the um, and Graham as well <clears throat> um, at Easy Collect to start discussing um, how you can approach uh, you know, your cash flow. So I'd like we've to had a few people who actually wanted a copy of the of that uh, ROI calculator of of that uh, cash cash conversion calculator. So yeah. we'll send that as well, perhaps to everyone. That's right. Yeah, we'll we'll send out those um, that collateral, those assets that we was mentioned. And uh, yeah, again, if there's any uh, discussions you'd like to take further, um, that would be great uh, for those who are on the line and uh, those who are watching after um, this on YouTube or anything like that. So. From, from a leverage perspective, thanks AJ and Amanda taking us through, um, you know, all the concepts and techniques and technology um, surrounding cash flow and easy collect. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone that uh, joined us today as well. You're really welcome. Right. Thanks thank you, for having me. Thanks. Right. Thanks, James. Enjoy thank the rest you, of your day, Bye -bye. you guys. Catch you later. Thanks, James. Bye. 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 -bye.